Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from the Lincoln Show season finale. Let's go and take a look around. So we start our journey joining the A15 just off the M180 and heading down in the direction of Lincoln. You carry straight on over the roundabout and then at this second roundabout you take a right and then head in gate number four. We went to gate five originally and turned round as there wasn't a sign on the way in. And here we are now at Lincoln Most Home and Camper Van Show. We were staying in the camping and caravanning club section of the show. It gave us a little bit of discount when we booked as well. So that's us parked up and pitched up. So let's take a wander into the show. As well as being able to camp at this show, you can also come for the day and dogs are welcome too on a lead. There was a lot of stalls with electric bikes given the popularity increase. There was a really good selection of stalls at the show. There was also places to get coffee and food and drink. There was a fair few most homes and camper vans up for sale as well. Probably the biggest selection I've seen in a long time. We'll come back and have a look at these a little bit later. So let's take a look around the main food area. The price of food varied from reasonable to fairly expensive. The quality seemed to be pretty good though. So after having a nice wander around on Friday, we'll now head back to the camper van. There was a nice sunset on the Friday evening. The facilities on the site included toilets, showers, fresh water, chemical and waste disposal. There was also a section where you could get electric hookup if you needed one of those for an extra charge. We then made ourselves some breakfast on Saturday morning. Well, good morning. I'm going to start the day by taking the bus into Lincoln. Worth noting you have to purchase a ticket from the information office, which is near the gas stand over that way, before getting on the bus. And it's £4 at this show for return, or £2 for single. I got the bus just after nine o'clock and headed into Lincoln. There was a number of buses doing a loop from the showground through into the centre of Lincoln and they ran till five o'clock on the Saturday. I was really surprised at the number of people that had come and stayed on the site and were camping. The bus took about 25 minutes to get into the centre of Lincoln from the showground. I took this on the bus on the way into Lincoln. You can see the day visitors car park there and the extent of the number of vans on the site. I 
And here we are now in the centre of Lincoln. It was just a short stroll from where the bus dropped off near the bus station and the railway station, up the high street and towards the cathedral. There was lots of shops and bars and restaurants and plenty of places to see in Lincoln. There were some lovely historic buildings as well. I stopped briefly to have a look at St Mary's Churchyard on the way up towards the cathedral. Take a look now back down the high street before we head up the hill towards the cathedral. Lovely traditional sweet shop there. It's a fairly steep hill up towards the cathedral. Lots of interesting shops to take a look in on the way up and also some cafes if you fancy stopping. So we're now at the top of the hill and just heading towards the cathedral. Quite a magnificent building, it was my first time in Lincoln and I was really impressed. I didn't go inside the cathedral, but maybe one for next time. Close by was the castle. There was an admission charge to go into the castle. There was also some cannons outside. We'll head back down now towards the high street. I spotted this shop which sold old electrical bits and pieces, including some bits from planes. We're now back at the High Street. As well as the High Street, there was the Waterside Shopping Centre which had a number of shops in it. And there was plenty of restaurants and cafes as well, somewhere you could sit and eat outside. Let's take a look along the water side now. I noticed there was a boat that you could take that took you on a little tour along the canal. After a wander around Lincoln, I got the bus back to the shore ground. Plenty more to see in Lincoln. I think next time I visit, there's a whole other part of it still to be discovered. 
Arriving back at the showground now and the visitors car park had really filled up in the last hour. Really pleased I went into Lincoln, it was a lovely city and well worth a visit. The queue for the bus had increased dramatically while I'd been away also. Time now for another look around the showground. Let's have a look in one of these fifth wheels. Just a tad under £75,000 and can be towed with a normal car licence. Wow, very posh and plenty of space in there too. Full size cooker and fridge and microwave. And even an island in the kitchen. Nice big shower, you could fit two in there. Look at the size of that bed too. Apparently you need a special tow for them, so I can't tow it with the tow bar I've fitted. What a shame, eh? So let's go and have a look at something else. Quite like the look of this crafter, looked like it had been done out really well. At some point I'd love to do my own van conversion. There was plenty of the smaller camper vans as well. This one looked really nice, but came in about the price of that fifth wheel we looked at a few moments ago. Another really nice one. It looked like there'd been quite a lot of them sold on the Friday. Let's have a look at the awnings. Let's take a look inside this motorhome. Looks really nice, doesn't it? This one's the Benimar Milio 294 and it's 7.35 metres long. Doesn't this look cute? And it would fit on the tow bar as well. How about that? Saw CV40 for sale as well and Eldis. 61495 special offer at the show. There was a Warwick XL from Auto Sleepers, but it had sold by the Saturday. There was plenty of stalls doing batteries and lithium and other electrical accessories too. Back at the food village now and grabbed a quick snack for lunch. It was very tasty as well, much tastier than it looked. After lunch, we were treated to a flyover.
After a bit of a chill out in the van as it had started to rain, we then popped and thought we'd treat ourselves to something for our tea. And we got some Thai food, which was really delicious and very tasty and very good value. We then had a quick look around. At this time, it had gone very quiet in the food area. There's only a few people around and the show had then closed at this point in time. We then took a wander back to the van and took a different route around the showground and we passed the entertainment marquee where there was people queuing up ready for the entertainment. Just continued our wander back round to the van. As we were heading back, we were just reflecting that it had been a really nice show to visit. We're heading off on Sunday morning, so we were going to settle down for the evening. Still couldn't get over how many vans there were at the show. No prizes for guessing what I'd bought at the show as well. Worth noting as well, just for those that are interested, we used uh, 186 amp hours of uh, battery capacity while at the show, and that was from the Friday lunchtime through to the Sunday morning. So there we go. That's the Lincoln Campervan and Motorhome Show. So Rachel, what did you think of it? I've had a great weekend. It's been really good fun. My feet are feeling it. I think I've walked miles and miles and miles, but it's been amazing. We've met some lovely people, seen some great things. The facilities are great. Absolutely brilliant, perfect, enjoyed it. How about you? Yeah, it's been much bigger than I thought it was going to be. There's just seas of motorhomes and camper vans. It really surprised me compared to others we've been to. So, yeah, it, it's been really good. Had a lovely um, Thai meal for, for tea tonight, or, or dinner as you might call it. And that was really nice. And uh, it's been all in all really good. Lovely trip into Lincoln, which was a great, lovely city. Well worth a visit. And haven't spent a fortune, just got some bits and pieces, which is good. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.